to be the best, you have to do what the rest won't do. You can see that in a lot of places. You see it. You really see it in sports a lot. And since we idolize sports and athletes and sports figures, we can learn a lot from them. Tiger Woods, probably one of the best golfers to ever have played the game. He has an off-season workout that probably no other golfer matches, will match, even cares to match. He starts at 6 o'clock in the morning and he doesn't finish until 7.30 in the evening, practicing, playing rounds of golf and practicing and working out, physical workout to make him stronger. Michael Jordan, probably the best basketball player to ever have played the game. First of all, was cut from his high school team. Then he decided to work on his skills. Michael Jordan, in the summer, off season, would spend, spend his days working out and he would make 6,000, no, was it, a thousand jump shots a day. A thousand jump shots a day, six days a week, 6,000 jump shots in a week in order to practice his skill, to get better, to be the best. Michael Phelps, a great athlete, a great Olympian swimmer. His practice routine for five to six hours a day, six days a week, he'll swim and practice. And, you know, there's a lot of physical strength training, but five to six hours a day, six days a week, he will swim approximately 50 miles a day in the pool sprints, longer stretches, whatever his routine is, and he does it every day, five, six, six days a week. Michael Jordan practiced six days a week. Tiger Woods practiced five to six or even seven days a week to be the best. Jimmy Johnson, seven-time NASCAR Cup champion, tremendous athlete. He runs marathons. Sometimes he runs a marathon in the same weekend he'll drive a four or five hundred mile stock car race. Um, I believe he does, rides, you know, many, many miles on his bike. He works out extremely hard. He is in extreme condition. Yes, he's a good driver and it's not, <clears throat> it's not just the physical conditioning that makes him a champion, but that is a huge factor in driving a, a stock car at 200 miles an hour. So what is it these people have who are at the top of their game what is it that they have that allows them to be the best, that allows them to master these skills? It's practice. And it's not just practice. It's purposeful practice. They have a purpose for what they're doing. They have a, a goal for their day, for the practice for the day. They want it so badly that they will do what other people won't do. They'll spend the time working out. They'll spend the time practicing. Michael Jordan spent the time shooting 500 jump shots in the morning, 500 jump shots in the afternoon, 6,000 jump shots a week. And we get tired shooting the ball after five or 10 minutes. He pushed himself to learn the skills, to be the best, so that when he got into the game, he never had to think about it. It was all muscle memory. He had done it so many times that when he went to execute it, his muscles knew how to do this and knew how to do it correctly and successfully. It just happened. That's what purposeful practice does. It creates muscle memory so that you can accomplish what you want. Tiger Woods, he hit the ball so many times practicing that when he would step up in a in the Masters tournament, he would literally see the course that the ball was going to take. He didn't have to think about it. He, he had to judge the slope and all that.
but as far as hitting the ball, his muscles took over and he let it just happen because of the purposeful practice that he had spent hours, days, weeks, and all those years learning how to be the best. We can learn a lot from that. Purposeful practice is the starting point of everything that we want to achieve. Everything that we desire to have in our life and to achieve in our life. Purposeful practice and mastering the skills are what if, what's important. And it really starts with desire. How badly do you want it? Tiger Woods, from the time he was, what, two, three years old, was instilled in him to be the best. And he grew up wanting it so badly to be the best. Michael Jordan, after getting cut from his high school basketball team, said, that's not gonna happen again. I can play this game. I will be the best. And he worked on it with purposeful practice. Michael Phelps swam in that pool, you know, 50 miles a day. That's, that's a long way to swim. But he wanted it so bad. And then when you achieve success, when you win a tournament, when you win a game, when you, it's thrilling and you want to do it again. And it's the practice that you go through that gets you there. But you have to have the, a strong desire. And when your desire to achieve these skills is strong enough, you can't be knocked off course no matter how, how hard it gets. You know, every athlete that's at the top of their game who works hard, who practices more than anybody else has hard times. Tiger Wood had, had and has back problems, but he worked at it and he continues to work at it. Just because it gets hard doesn't mean you quit. If your desire is strong enough in order to accomplish what you really want in your life and what you want to achieve, and if you want to be the best, it doesn't matter how hard it gets. Your desire has said, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to do it. I can't be knocked off course. You can't make me change what I'm gonna do. So you need to focus on the reps, not the win. See, Tiger Woods, Michael Phelps, Michael Jordan, they didn't focus on the win they focused on doing the reps today so that when it came time, when they were under pressure, they performed with muscle memory. It was just natural for them. And that's what we call it. it says it looks so natural for them it's because they put in the time, they put in the work, they put in the reps. So if you're trying to learn a new skill, and I'm not saying you want to be a top notch athlete. If you do, I mean, that's amazing. Learn from these guys. But if you want to be top notch at what you do in your business, maybe you're a salesman and you want to be the best salesman. You got to put in the reps. You got to go make the sales. You got to go learn how to make successful sales and do it over and over and over and you'll fail. That's okay. When Michael Jordan was shooting 500 jump shots every morning, he didn't make them all. But he kept going and he kept learning why that didn't work. Why was that one off course? What was I doing wrong with my body, with my hands, with my arms, with my legs? He learned so that muscle memory became perfect and he could perform under pressure without even thinking about it. If you want to perform at the top levels, you need to put in the reps. I grew up on a farm. And in the fall, about this time of year, actually, we would plant wheat spring wheat we would plant it in the fall and it would hopefully come up in the fall and go dormant over the winter and then grow in the spring and harvest in the summer and then in late spring early summer we would plant corn or or milo for harvest in the fall when a farmer plants a seed he doesn't spend time while he's driving the tractor planting the seed thinking about the harvest to come oh it's going to be a great harvest no, he focuses on the seed going in the ground and make sure that the rows are straight, make sure that the planter is working correctly so that the seeds go in the ground. He's making sure that this process happens. 
because if you don't put the seed in the ground you don't put it in correctly you don't put it in at the right time you don't put it in every year you'll never have the harvest if you just focus on the harvest you'll never get there you have to focus on putting in the reps putting in the seed and the other things for farmers make sure all your equipment works fertilizer and all those things but you have to focus on putting the seed in the ground first before you can ever get to a harvest when you put in consistent action for what you want with with the ultimate destination of where you're headed in mind so yeah a farmer plants a seed with knowing he's headed towards his harvest but he's not focused on the harvest when he puts the seed in the ground he's focused on putting the seed in the ground when you're learning a new skill if you're a, if you're a if you're a salesman in your business salesperson in your business focus on learning how to make sales and going out and doing it doing it again and doing it again some will fail some will succeed learn from the failures learn from the successes and do it again put in the reps then you'll have the income that you want don't focus on the income that you want that yes that's a goal but focus on putting in the reps today and tomorrow and the next day if you put in consistent action knowing where you're headed knowing what the goal is and focus on doing today all those things you need to do today which I call the seeds and not the harvest the outcome will take care of itself you'll get to where you're going if you focus on doing the reps today if you focus on putting the seed in the ground today the harvest will take care of itself I'm Mark Schinner this is your Wednesday wisdom and I hope you have a wonderful day